Hey everyone, Bradley Jack Design here. In this quick tutorial, I want to show you how I add signatures into any design piece that I use. So, here we have a photo of Laurie Markkinen with a dark background. I'm also going to show you how to do this with a light background. But let's start off with this dark background. First, you need to find a photo of a signature. So, this is a photo clearly of a signed card that he has on here. You can use a football. I like using cards because it's flat. A football or basketball might be rounded. So. What we're gonna do with this is we're gonna go to the adjustment layers, we're gonna hit gradient map, we're gonna hold down the option key and click in between the two layers to mask it to this layer, and then we're going to adjust this gradient map. What we're looking for is heavy contrast between the signature and its background. And since for this instant right now we want the signature to be white, we're gonna move the white all the way over to the right and the black over to the right, not the left. So we're gonna make it look like this. So adjust these around so all you can see is black and white where the signature is. So I'm gonna move the white a little bit over. So there, there's a lot of contrast here. There's a clear just black layer behind the white. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna mask out all of this card except for the signature. So we just go in here with a hard brush, and just get rid of everything just so we have the signature because that's clearly the only thing we want to show there all we have to do then is set this to screen and then we have a signature after we mask everything out we have a signature that's white that is on any sort of surface you know if it's on black you can see it the best you can see down here if there's any sort of background you're only going to be able to see the white of the signature on top of it now if we wanted the background to be, say, white, this clearly doesn't work. So what we're gonna do to change that is we're gonna set the Lori Signature logo or logo layer to multiply, and we're going to change the gradient map. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back to normal, or roughly normal, and we're gonna make it so all we can see is the black. So if I move this around, that's not what I want. Let's move this over. Let's get rid of that background. So there. Now, if we have it set to multiply, we can just move this around and we have the black of the logo, or not logo, of the signature on our design. Now, let's say we wanna make this red. How I would go about doing that is making it black and white like we have here. I'm actually going to uh, rasterize these layers and actually I'm gonna merge the layers together. So I'm gonna hit merge layers. I'm gonna copy that whole layer and then under paths not paths channels I'm going to hit new and I'm going to paste that layer now in channels anything that white anything we want to be colored we want to be white so for this instance if we want to make the signature red we're going to keep this all white I'm going to turn this layer off after turning back on the other layers and I'm going to hide that original layer and I'm going to make a new layer to show you what we can do. So anything in the channels you have here, I've got alpha one and alpha two. We just created alpha two. If I go up to select, I can load that into a selection. So I can load alpha two. If I hit okay, you can see it's selecting just the signature we had. So then if I take a red color and just fill it, I have a red signature that can go on anything now. If you wanted to change this color to anything else, you can just reselect that. You know, let's say we want to make it yellow. We can go in here, fill it with yellow. So now we have a yellow signature. So that's a way if you wanted to add a little more uh, of a dynamic approach than just having a black or white signature, you can add a color to it using the channels and using select load selection. That's actually what this alpha channel is here. It's actually a smaller signature that I used in the design itself. So. That's how I add signatures to my designs. Uh, I hope this quick little tutorial helped you guys out. If you guys have any other tutorial suggestions that you want, go ahead and drop comments in below. Other than that, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.